Well, it's about that time of night where boys and ghouls will be on a mission to get most of the candy out there. That's right. And before heading out, there are some safety tips for you to remember as you and your kids are out trick or treating, like looking both ways before crossing the street and making sure you guys are highly visible. News 3's Danielle Seda joins us live now in studio. Thank you for joining us out here, Danielle. Okay, what have you heard from parents about safety this time around? Well, some of those guidelines that you both mentioned, they seem pretty straightforward, right? Well, in Halloween, things can get a little hectic as you're heading out the door and trying to get the candy before it's time for the kids to go to bed. Parents are telling me it's important to establish a game plan with your kids so that the quest to get candy doesn't become dangerous. Oh, a headband to go with it. That would be so cute. Jahida Ferris is a mom of five and says she's an expert when it comes to safe trick-or-treating. So we've been doing it for a while. I feel like kind of like a pro trying to keep them safe and so like we make a plan before we go out so if anyone is lost or gets up to a house and we're already ahead of them they know who to call or where we can meet at. Ferris says as a parent it's not the costumes or the movies that are scary it's the what ifs. Crosswalk always gets ignored cars are coming still because they're in their neighborhoods people are trying to get back home from work. And speaking of running around it's a good idea to make sure that your child's costume doesn't restrict movement or make them trip. And while that scary mask might look cool Halloween stores like Harry Girls Halloween Superstore says it's important to see if your kid can actually see through it. The store says they actually have helped make the costumes fit right by offering adhesive tape to parents to hem up the pants and the shirts and also offer parents a safety tip flyer while grabbing a costume. The owner of the store, D. Naknani, says it might be a good idea to wear light or reflective costumes or an extra accessory. And the glow sticks, glow sticks, glow sticks. I would attach glow stick to the kids at all times and they can hang it, hang at any part of the costume. And don't forget to inspect your candy and keep man's best friend or monster's best friend away from it as well. I want to make sure that they have a toy already or a treat of their own so they're not going for the kids when they throw it on the floor inevitably all over the kitchen floor or living room floor. A reminder for the kids. <laughs> Remember to leave the jump scares for the Halloween decorations and have a safe and not so scary Halloween. And for the families who want to bring their pets along tonight, make sure you have reflective collars or costumes to keep them visible as well. Danielle Seda, News 3. Danielle, thank you so much for those tips. Some pretty good tips there. Absolutely. I'll have to make sure I get a glow stick on Scrappy or tonight. Scrappy, right? <laughs> Sometimes you don't think about that. Now